In this video, I will be unboxing the Dell Inspiron 3671 desktop. I will also be adding an SSD to this desktop and I will show you also what you can do to upgrade it. This is the power cable and it also comes with a wired mouse. This is it and some instruction manuals. So this is a notice that says that it's in Spiron 3671 and this is the keyboard. So this is an Intel Core i5-9400 UHD graphics from Intel 630 and you can read the specifications on the left. So this is a desktop as you see. I'm gonna remove it now from its packaging. It comes well packaged. It's a very light desktop and this is it. It has the ports on the front. It has, this is a power, media card, headphone jack and two USB 3.0 ports and it also has a DVD writer. And the ports on the back, it has four USB 2.0 ports. It has an HDMI output, VGA, RG45 and audio inputs and outputs. This is the first start. I am plugging it in for the first time now. And I'm starting it up. So when you start it up, you need to set it up. So I decided to set it up first and then put the SSD and clone the hard disk to the SSD. So after setting it up, this way I can have all the Dell software installed instead of reinstalling them. This is a normal Windows setup. It took about 15 minutes. Here I accelerated the video and this is Cortana helping with the setup. Now I'm adding the SSD. I'm gonna show you a little bit first what you can do with this desktop. It has two screws. Just remove them and slide the cover and it will open. It has four SATA plugs, so you can put up to four SATA plugs in it. It already comes with two plugged in, one for the hard disk and one for the DVD. And it also has a SATA power reserve. You can get a SATA power cable here. This is a memory. It comes with one 8 gigabyte DIMM, which is good because it has two banks. So this way I can add another 8 gigabyte to have a total of 16 gigabyte. This computer can go up to 32 gigabyte. So you can put two times 16 gigabyte. To put it, just push it in. It will click in place on both sides. This is the Wi-Fi card and the Bluetooth card also. Now this is a hard disk I'm gonna be adding. This is a one terabyte King Dian SSD. It has a place on the front of the desktop. It's a 2.5 inch SSD. So I connected it already to the SATA port and to the SATA power. I'm removing the front of the desktop. It has three latches on the top. Just pull them up a little bit and pull it towards you. It will be removed. And I'm securing it with the screws. I'm gonna show you in a bit the screws, how it is secure in place. And this is a disc, as you see, it's installed. And these are the two screws that I put. Because it's an SSD, so it doesn't vibrate. Two screws are enough. And this is the front cover. I'm putting it in place. So it just pops into place. Don't force it. So in summary, if you want to upgrade this computer, you have many options. You can add an NVMe here hard disk. It can support an NVMe disk up to 512 gigabyte. You can add more memory. You can add PCI extension, either it is USB or maybe another video card. 
and you can add a hard disk. To close it back, just put the cover and slide it in and put back the two screws. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you think it might help others, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.